Hello everybody, welcome to the video. That's right, this game is gonna start 2 on motherfucking 6. Now, obviously, when you're 2 on 6, you would think, oh, you're at a disadvantage. Any Call of Duty player knows that the team with the least amount of players actually has the advantage over the team with the most amount of players because it is harder for them to look for only two people on the map while well, it's pretty much a free-for-all for you you can shoot at just about anything that moves and kill it and it's the enemy right so yeah it's really an advantage if you have the least amount of people on your team however on this map it's kind of hard to deal with because to me carrier plays a little big maybe it's because it's nothing but uber long fucking lines of sight and I'm always really stubborn not to use an assault rifle or anything like that. I like submachine guns. I like whatever. Look it up. Picking up tags just so I can get simple ass kill streaks. Because I can't get kill streaks that high. I cannot get anything higher than a stealth helicopter or a dragon fire thing, whatever. Um, back before I prestiged, I didn't realize that you only get so many tokens and you can't unlock all the kill streaks if you wanted to. So like those super high kill streaks i never bothered unlocking them and i was like oh i'll unlock them later well then i fucking realized oh shit i can't get like a vsat i can't get a swarm i can't get dogs or a load star because i couldn't unlock them but at least you know i got my fucking lightning strike right there and bring the rain and i only got two motherfucking people with a lightning strike which probably isn't that bad for carriers probably the only time we'll get a fucking lightning strike in this match and i think that's the reason look at these dumb motherfuckers right here and how that motherfucker war machine me all that all that pisses me off fucking lag and shit like that it should have been an easy ass double kill i don't know if i like the war machine and i don't like the death machine in this game honestly i don't know anyone who uses it on a regular fucking basis i really don't i have not seen that at all but maybe i'm wrong i don't know but yeah this is where i used pistol and it's before i started using the tac 10 is it I use attack end because normally with a shotgun, if you get a hit marker, you're better off switching to your secondary, a pistol which has more range than a shotgun, and shooting them with one bullet and killing them. Well, the most powerful fucking... Oh, here we go again on a fucking tag smorgasbord. Woo, yeah, no work for me. But because the tac 10 it's so fucking overpowered as a pistol, even though I think all the pistols in this game are overpowered, but it's so fucking overpowered because it's like... I think it takes two or three bullets to kill at normal pistol range. That's a little over fucking power for a goddamn pistol, so that's the reason I used it. But obviously I'm using the B23R or whatever it's called, that three burst pistol. Kinda I guess is like the Rafika from Modern Warfare 2, or the Rafika, whatever that was called. But at the same time, not even close because the Rafika, honestly, is the most overpowered of well, I shouldn't say overpowered, most effective gun in the history of call of duty it's not the m16 from call of duty 4 it's not the ak-74u or the famas from black ops it's not the acr from modern warfare 3 it is the rafika because the rafika okay it didn't have a lot of range but it had medium range it was a one burst kill weapon with stopping power just like everything in modern warfare 2 a one burst kill weapon with the mobility of a pistol so you ran fast like if you had a pistol and you were able to aim down sight and move around and whatnot and move while aiming down sight just the same as if you had a pistol so you basically had an m16 or a famas built into a pistol so that that's by far the most fucking effective weapon they ever made which is why i think they stopped making weapons like that because nobody likes three round burst weapons because especially if there's a little bit of lag it's like Bruh, you're dead you know it's like what the what you watch the kill cam and it's like the motherfucker put two bursts in me i didn't fucking see it but I don't know, I haven't used a lot of burst weapons in Black Ops, and you know what, to be honest, I should probably be talking about the actual weapon that I'm using, right? PDW. The thing is with the PDW, obviously it's a very effective gun, it's a great gun, and it's got 50 bullets in the magazine. It's like, why would you ever need extended mags? It's kind of like they built certain perks or certain weapon attachments into every submachine gun. Like, the Scorpion pretty much has rapid fire built into it you don't need to put rapid fire onto it the mp7 fast mags is pretty much built into it and a little bit of extended mags but definitely fast mags dude that thing reloads so fast without fast mags it's almost like you might you, you don't need fast mags pdw 
fucking target finder. But PDW, you don't need extended mags because it's already built into the weapon. It's already got a normal clip size of 50 rounds. That's fucking M... You know, that's... What's, what's that called? LMG or light machine gun. That's light machine gun size. And it's built into a fucking submachine gun. That's insane. So, like, all the submachine guns have, like, their own little fucking attachments built into it which saves you on having to waste an attachment you know you're not gonna waste fast hands or fast mags on an mp7 you're not gonna waste rapid fire on a scorpion you better not use rapid fire on a scorpion because i've tried doing it before it's just a fuck it's hard it's a headache it's not worth it you fucking burn through your clip in less than a second it's so inaccurate because you know the fire rate is just off the hook the vector i don't know the usmc i don't fucking know i don't use those guns that often and i probably should because in black ops i'm very reluctant to try new things i'm very reluctant to try new game types new perks new guns weird fucked up setups i'm really reluctant to always do that shit i know it kind of hurts my channel because how many times besides the exception of this game right here how many times have you watched a video of mine since black ops 2 came out and since i've been putting it on my channel that the first words in the video were hello everybody welcome to the video you're watching a kill confirm game with the 870 or kill confirm game with the ksg and lately now kill confirm games with the s12 easy kill with the hunter killer i don't know why the hunter killer i, I like calling it my mini swarm like every time i get it i'm like oh i got a mini swarm right and i was like too bad you can't stack kill streaks like everything like modern warfare you know black ops or earlier or if you got like a second kill streak especially after you died that's how you had to get them but it would just stack so you could bank them up like if you banked up like you know 24 fucking hunter killers in this game you pretty much got a swarm right there right to start launching them even though i don't think you can use them at the same time i'm not sure if you can have two in the air at once i don't think i've ever tried that or done that i don't see why you couldn't maybe you could i don't know i should have to try that yeah i'm gonna have to try that also i heard a rumor that the hunter killer drone the explosion diameter radius the blast of it and the power of that explosion is less or i should say more than the swarm hunter killer drone i don't know if that's true or not but that's what i heard so it's like i don't know to be honest swarms are fucking useless i've had enemies get swarms on me a few times before and i've had never got a swarm myself because like i said i never un unlocked it early in the video i was saying that but i've been swarmed and shit i got a blind eye class so as soon as the swarm comes switch to blind eye run around do my thing it's that simple to avoid a swarm dogs on the other hand not as easy they're easier to kill in this game i don't know it seems that way and whatnot so but obviously there's less dogs or dogs are less effective than swarm as they should be because it's less points to get but yeah i mean a swarm is fucking it's a pointless kill streak it only works against noobs because it's like all you need is fucking turn on blind eye but yeah there's the end of the game look at that kd right there look at all those confirms but you know the team balanced out and you know i guess all the other teammates on my team came into game late and whatnot got some kills and we fucking just annihilated the other team but yeah tell me what are your favorite kill streaks what are your favorite submachine guns what do you want to see